Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a recreation of a video I tried doing about a month ago, but it actually like it turned out very, very badly. So I never actually posted it. So for this video, I'm going to be doing like a how to make a Z Gallery inspired glitter art. Um, I have a wall in my office I need to make one for, and I also have to redo one I have in my bedroom. Long story short, I basically had one that I absolutely love with in my bedroom, but I ended up ruining it, so I have to remake it. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Um, I'll have all the lists of the products you'll need down below, and I'll also have a little bit of a little screen recording of the ones that you will need as well. But it is going to be a time-lapse video, so hopefully you guys don't mind that. But yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and let's get into it. Alright, so the first step you're going to be doing is getting that joint compound and you're going to be spreading it across the areas of the canvas where you actually want texture on it. So for my piece, you can see I'm wanting it to be more in the center of the piece. So you're just going to spread it all over the place and as you can see, it's more or less like a pinkish purple color. That's basically just letting you know that it's a wet product and then as it dries, it will turn into like a more ivory white color. So it's very, very user friendly when it comes to that aspect. So I'm just spreading it all around and in a second I'm going to be getting a little white tool that you use for painting and I'm just actually going to tap all over the place just to give it like nice peaks and give it a nice texture. So that way it kind of has that Z gallery as vibe to it. I know that you, you can use paint to do this as well but it's a lot harder so I found this trick to do that. So just honestly just flatten it out, go crazy with it, just spread it all around and make it to you know, it has the kind of pattern that you want on it. It's very easy, and then you can add more or less as you go. And then in just a second, I'm gonna be showing you guys like a close-up view on how it's supposed to look. So, as you can see, there's just some nice formations of peaks and different highs and lows when it comes to the texture. And it just, I don't know, it just makes it look a little bit more professional because it has more dimension to it. And then it takes about an hour or two for it to dry, but at this point I'm just using the bright silver paint that I showed in the beginning and just putting this all across the bottom of it. I am going just all over the place with it because I'm going to end up smoothing it out in all one direction. And I'm just using just a regular like paintbrush for this and I'm just going to go up and down so it has nice smooth brush strokes on it. Then on the opposite side we're going to be using the gunmetal color that I have and um, you're going to do the exact same concept. As you can see on this bright silver, I didn't go all the way up and I'm going to be adding black to that area just to make it have like a nice divide. But you're just going to smooth that and I definitely recommend using like a nice wiry paintbrush to do this so you have like those nice clean strokes you'll see in a second. And then now I'm just using a nice pure white and just going all over the center of it. Even though it is like a white color right now, it's more matte than I would like it to be. I like that glossy look. So I'm actually using a sponge brush for this because it is a little bit easier to get inside those little peaks and grooves with a sponge brush. As I said, I'm using like a wiry paint brush. But it's very easy and then now you can see I'm going in with the black paint. Um, for this concept, I'm going to be using a mix of a couple different brushes. I'm using like a little bit of a thicker small brush just to kind of get the base idea of it and I'm going to go in also with a smaller brush just to give a little bit of detail to the sections but this is just a personal preference this is not what they really do for Z Gallery pieces but you know I make it my own so this is what I decided to do for mine and then um, we're just going to do it on the opposite side as well And then in a second, I'm just going to actually go around the entire perimeter of the, the canvas frame with that same black paint. I'm using a sponge brush for this, but I just want it to be nice and smooth. And just a recommendation and tip for you guys, if you just glide your paintbrush, like the sponge, just across the flat side of it and just go across the bottom of the canvas, it makes it really nice and clean so that way it doesn't get on the top of it. But it's very, very easy. It makes it look a little bit more of a finished product by doing that without having a white canvas. And you can kind of cover up any imperfections you may have. And then after doing this, here's just kind of a finished product of what the actual paint itself looks like. And you can like kind of appreciate how like straight the lines are from the paintbrush. 
and I'm gonna let it dry for probably about a half hour to an hour before I start doing the glitter. So as you can see, I'm using hairspray. Hairspray is really good alternative. You don't want to go out and buy like spray adhesive because it's super cheap and it does the exact same thing. So I'm just, it's kind of hard to see in the lighting, but I'm just using the spray paint with white glitter. And then as I'm doing it, I'm just going over more and more with the glitter and then spray paint, just kind of lock it in. And at this point, it's about finished. And I'm going to show you guys a little close up at, in a second. But here we go. There's my Z Gallery inspired glittery art. It's super, super sparkly, and it's very pretty, and it only cost me, like, $20, so you can't beat that. So basically, for the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Alright, guys. Bye.